let's uh let's start so this game i was uh i was playing mid lane i was playing a character called yone this character is a melee champion he is known to use that guy right there i'm known to use attack speed and crit because my character is passive he passively doubles my crit chance and but i do gain 10 percent damage loss from crits so there's a little bit of a double bladed edge right there but he's a very good champion i'm gonna be playing against this character right here his name is lucian lucian is a ranged champion while i'm a melee so in theory the matchup isn't very good for me because he can poke me out of lane but you'll see in lane that I try I play for my strengths and play for my uh, Q passive and I'll explain that in a second so right here we're just waiting for uh, the buffs to come up the other team is waiting for their buff to spawn right here our team is making sure they don't invade our jungle because invading means they try to steal our buff or get some kills or good vision so we're trying to make sure that, that doesn't happen our jungler right here Baco He's coming down for the blue buff, which spawns right here. I head back to lane because I'm playing mid. And the minion waves come. Mid lane always gets their minion wave first. That's why they don't help with the uh, leashing or anything. So right here. My Q is a poke. It's a sword like dive. You'll see me use it here again. And what it does is whenever I hit two of them, I gain this passive. And it makes, it makes my character have like win. So right here, see, you'll see it right here. That means my Q passive has proc It means I do that, I dash forward, I knock up. So what I do is I play super far behind. I make sure he can't poke me or shoot me. I see me running away here because I don't want that to happen. I want to reduce all damage I take. And you'll see me run up here and I'll Q a minion to get the stack like that. And then I'll wait for because I have to get two of them. So I hit, I hit anything twice and I get this. And I'll use that as my chance to get damage off. And that's the only time I'll try to go in and do damage to this guy. Because right now, he outranges me. And I can't do anything about it. So I gotta wait for minions to come to me. So here I am. I'm getting CS. I'm making sure I'm not falling too far behind. And I'm waiting for me to get all my abilities. Because once I hit level 3, I can actually start trading with him. So right there, that's a positive trade for me. I got the third Q off. And then I got my W off. So I did more damage to him than he did to me. So that's a positive trade for me. The jungler is on the red buff. So I know he's near. So I know he could go for a gank. Because he's really shoved into my tower. So I'm trying to keep him here. Just in case my jungler does want a gank. Because right now he's playing super aggressive. So I get my third Q here. And I believe I go in on this. Yep. I go in on this. I have my third ability. Which is this right here. I actually kill him here. So my third ability is I step out of shadow, I step in like a shadow form, and I move faster for a short amount of time, and then I get pulled back at the end of it. And then my W ability, which is my third ability, is I do that, I swipe in like an, an area AoE, and I gain a shield. So what my combo is, is I'll stack my Qs where I have this wind thing around me, and then I'll use my E to enter the shadow form. Go up to him, knock him up, and do as much damage as possible, and then go back. And that's all I can do to him because he's ranged. So I'm playing to my strengths right here. And I actually won. The, I got first blood, so that's good for me. So right here, he's back in lane. I see that. I'm going to go ahead and back, reset, get my buy. Because right now, he just bought cloth armor and a refillable. That was his buy. Right now, I actually have a lot more gold than he does because I got 300 gold kill. That's their jungler. And I went ahead and bought two daggers, which gave me attack speed, and boots, which gave me movement speed. That'll help me close the gap and an extra potion. Because I do want movement speed to be able to close this gap. He's going to continue shoving into my tower, which I'm not sure that's a good idea. Because he could have froze the wave and let me go up so I can he can damage me. So right here, my minion there comes down for a skirmish here while I get the minion wave. I do believe we win the skirmish right here. My team does. We force them out of the river. My lander takes a quite a bit of damage, actually. Down to half mana, so this is good for me. Meanwhile, I'm freezing the wave. I have my third Q stacked. And you see, if I do not hit that third Q, the knock-up, I do not go in. Because if he's not knocked up, I won't be able to hard engage on him. So right here, I have my third Q. You'll see me go for another engage here because I do have it procs. 
There, I get only a W off, which is fine with me because I mean I am whittling him down. So right here, the dragon is up, which means both junglers are usually going to be bot side. My jungler is bot side right here. He's clearing wards for me. And here we go. We're going to take a skirmish right here. I do believe my jungler dies here when I get out. Which is unfortunate. Yeah, I think I have to fly. Yeah, I flash here. So my jungler just dies. I ult in. I'm able to uh, whittle my person down. My ult was that thing right there where you see the giant rectangle and me knocking him. That's my... Uh, my ult we get at level 6, every character gets an ult to level 6. His ult is, you'll see him use it later and I cancel it, it's he just like shoots a bunch of guns at me, like non-stop. My ult knocks everybody up in that square. So I see, I see that he's backed right here, I saw that he backed. So I'm gonna take this time to shove my minion wave in so he loses all of this because he's not there to collect the XP or the gold. And I'm gonna get a plate here I think, I'm not gonna plate. So, you see these bars right here, each of these symbolizes a plate, there's five of them, five turret plates. Um, each of them is harder to break down than the other one, so it goes one, two, three, four, five. Um, yeah, basically whenever you kill a plate or destroy a plate, you get gold. And so, the plates fall off at 14 minutes, so right now it's 6 minutes, almost 30 seconds. You want to get as many plates as you can before that, because they give you a lot, they give you a gold lead. And you'll see me capitalize on that later when my laner isn't there. Usually you want to push for plates when your laner isn't in lane. And you can uh, yeah, do that. So let's take a look at what are... So it's 5-1 to one right now. They're winning in kills actually. I have the only kill on my team. So it is unfortunate. But they have a gold lead as well. But it's not nothing too major here. This is still able to... We're still able to come back here. We're here, I'm pressuring on the mini wave again, trying to get those Qs off. Got my third Q proc, which means I can be a little bit aggressive here. You'll see him go back because he doesn't want any part of that, which is what he should have been doing earlier. So right now, I've I've actually made him terrified of my third Q knockup because of what I, I did to him earlier. So right now, he's actually playing really scared, which is really good for me because I actually want that. I want to be able to put the pressure on him because it plays better than my strength. So right here, I'm going to roam down because I saw hip, uh, my support fighting this person. And you'll see me actually go for an ult here, which I barely missed. I just barely missed that ult, which is unfortunate. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to mid lane. That was kind of a bad roam for me because I, did, I lost CS here in XP and I missed my R. So now I don't have my ultimate for right now, which is unfortunate, but... Yeah, so I have my third Q again. I'm, I'm, he dashes away. He's playing scared. And once again, I'm able to put the pressure on him. Because, yep, there I, I get the third Q knockup. I can be really aggressive. Ignite comes out from me. He's really... You see, okay, so right there. This is very important to look at right here. So you'll see me. I'm putting extreme pressure on him right here. I knock him up, I get damage off that ignite right there, that's my summoner spell. He's gonna ult right here. He starts ulting and I knock him up with my third Q. My third Q just cancelled his ultimate. So now, he doesn't have an ult for next time we fight. And he has the back here. So he's gonna back, I'm gonna continue shoving the wave. Cause my jungler was right there. So now I know he doesn't have his ults. He's 1 HP, I'm able to poke him. Life is good for me. I actually missed that cannon, that was really bad of me. And my jungler is able to dive him and get the kill. And I get the assist. So that all in all, that was a really good fight for me. Because now he doesn't have his ult for next time we fight, so that basically means I win the fight. Because I'm going to have my ult. My jungler actually tries to invade here, which is questionable, as he's on level 6. But... It's okay. So it's 6-3 to three right now, and the gold lead is... They still have a gold lead, so... You'll see me get the plates here. I got two plates, which gives me gold. About 320 gold or something like that. So right now, I'm going to back and reset. I'm going to buy. Because... I do have a lot of gold. I haven't reset in a while. Our top laner is actually winning top lane. As you can see here, he's getting plates. Our bot lane isn't doing so well. 
but they'll start picking it up later. Our jungler is doing pretty good. He's gotten pretty good ganks off so far. He's holding his own. They did get the first dragon though, so that's unfortunate. Okay, so I'm with her Q here. Once again, I'm playing super aggressive off of that. That's my only hard engage here. I'm going to continue playing to that throughout the entire game. So, another thing is, I'm playing super aggressive right here, and I know I can because I have a ward in this push. This is my ward. So, I can see over to here. So, I know that if the jungler is going to come, he has to either go all the way around here, which would be a bit unorthodox. But it's okay. So I see the jungler over here. He's in my ward. So that you see me go be really aggressive here and try to get him out of the lane, which is what I do. So now he knows I can see him, and my jungler's coming for a counter gank. I think we actually win this fight. They actually don't fight here. So right now it looks like it's going to be a fight down in the bot lane. Um, me and my jungler are going down here. Our bot lane is going to go die, fortunately. But me and our jungler are here. We're going to go ahead and get vision. Because killing this, this is called a scuttle. If you kill this, right here, it gives you vision and movement speed for your team when you walk through the circle. So right here, I'm going to go ahead and kill their jungler. So their jungler is now dead. And their mid laners here as well. At this point, I'm really fed. So I'm just going to steamroll their team. Me and my jungler just wipe the floor with their jungler and mid laner. And we have, we're starting to close the gap. We're still behind, unfortunately. But I am fed. Our top laner is destroying the Xin Zhao. See, actually, it's a bit of a skirmish here, but he wins that fight. I'm going to go ahead and keep pushing here because my laner just respawned and I'm able to be really aggressive for these plates here, which is good for me. Our jungler's taking a fight here. I flash over. I go ahead and assist him. I kill their jungler here. I do get his flash out, so if you don't know what a flash is, a flash is like a short distance teleport. I used it to get from here to here. It has a 300 second cooldown. So getting someone's flash out like that is really good because that means they don't have any escape. Like emergency escape. So getting someone's flash out is, also, is always really good if you want to make them run away from you. So right there. I'm going to go ahead and play really aggressive here because I didn't know he doesn't have his dash up. And he's going to go ahead and die here. I pick up another kill. And that's going to put me, I'm at 4 kills, 0 deaths, and 2 assists. And I'm moving to get my first item. I've got my boots. So, yeah. I'm doing pretty good in this game so far. We're, we are ahead in gold right now. A little behind in kills, but we are ahead in gold here. So we have closed the gold gap. So our bot lane is getting a little bullied here as they are ahead. And our, their jungler is looking to gank them yet again. But that's okay. The dragon is up again. So once again, you'll see both junglers be bot side here. Because, you know, neither team wants to give up the dragon free. And Bako go ahead and flashes in. He's going to try to kill the enemy jungler so he can't smite. I think the enemy jungler does get away here. He does not. Okay, so killing the enemy jungler when the dragon is up should be your top priority in most situations. If there isn't someone else fed. So I go ahead here and clean up here and we get the dragon. But killing the enemy jungler in these situations is always really good. Because the junglers, they have an ability called smite. You'll see Bako use it. He doesn't have a smite actually because he used it. But this right here, these, these jungle items that each of them have, they give their ability called smite. And what smite does is it, it chunks the... Uh, monsters like these like your dragons and jungle camps for a certain amount of damage based off your level and so what the junglers will do is when the the hp gets to a certain point like bako did right there he'll smite it to kill it and it usually what that usually does is it ensures that team gets the dragon so another uh player on the enemy team can just like shoot it once and kill it so 
usually at each dragon it's a competition for each jungler to smite to get that smite off to get the dragon and so that's why you want to kill the enemy jungler while the dragon is up so they can't smite it so that your jungler gets to smite it without any competition it's pretty much a jungler versus jungler situation with every dragon so my laner is once again dead so I'm gonna go ahead and pick up his tower here right now I am 6 and 0 and 3 I have a 700 gold bounty, so I gotta be careful not to die because giving someone a 700 gold bounty would be pretty bad. I have my first item here. I'm working on my second. I do believe I pick up my second. Yep, I get my second item here. So right now I'm at two items and boots, which is extremely good for me right now. I'm, well, I'm really far ahead of everybody right now. So this is gonna allow me to roam between lanes because I'm far ahead of everybody. So. Usually I wouldn't win this matchup, I think. Oh, there goes my alarm. But I think the way he played it and I played it, I did come out on top, thankfully. Because I would have bad if I got I think we would have lost the game if I didn't win my lane. But so we're gonna go ahead and pick up Harold here. This this is Rift Harold. It's the thing that spawns before Baron Nasher. Killing this thing will give you the Eye of the Herald, which allows you to summon this at any lane that you see the Eye of the Herald spawn right there. Should you kill it. I'm gonna go ahead and kill the Xin Zhao here. Yep, pick up that kill. My own potential is really good right now. Baco has the Eye of the Herald. You'll see it's like purple stuff floating around him. That means he has the Eye. So what the Eye of the Herald allows you to do is it allows you to summon the Rift Herald at any point in the... any part of the map. And it'll spawn and run down one of the three lanes, whatever you spawn it in closest to. So Baco's gonna go and throw it down mid lane. You'll see him summon it right here. That's the Herald. And what it does is it charges uh, structures. So it'll charge the turret here for a lot amount of damage. Like this. We charge that. And we're going to be pushing with it. The way you kill it is there's an eye in the back that glows purple like that. Right here. And if you hit that, there's a ton of damage to it. So now we're just pushing with the Herald. We got two turrets and an inhibitor. Killing an inhibitor, what it means is that super minions spawn for us. So we're going to go ahead and pick up this. I'm going to add flash there. Play safe. I don't want to give up my bounty. I'm going to go ahead and pick up three more kills. Right now I'm 9 0 and 4. So yeah, that's good. It's always good. And at this point, we're just trying to close out the game. What's up, Vin? Thanks for the raid, homie. Right now we're just doing some mod review for my uh, esports project. What's up, mob? Welcome, everybody. Thank you, Vin. What were you up to, Vin? Were you playing ranked? <laughs> All right, so right here, um, we're going to come back out here. We did get the inhibitor. We got two turns, so this is very, very good for us. I think I'm going to go ahead and reset here, I believe, after getting camps. I got to be careful as well, because I still have that 700 gold bounty. I do not want to give it up, because their Kaisa is actually in a pretty good state right here. She can actually kill me if I give this bounty up. I think I actually give up the bounty right here. I missed my ult. The Xin Zhao was waiting for me. I didn't have my ult. I was already low. So I lose the trade and I lose the fight. Went 6-1 today with Tom Kench. Well done, dude. So that was the only, I think, bad part of the game is when I gave up my bounty and missed my ult. Other than that, it was pretty good. We're still ahead in gold by about 4k. We're even in kills now. We've closed the gap. We are ahead in turrets. They only have one turret. Is that the... No tower kills we have five tower kills left. so we're ahead in that our top laner is winning our mid one our jungler's ahead currently the only thing that's bad for us is our bot lane but they're still doing stuff so dragons coming up you can see right here there's a yellow like hourglass right here that means the dragon is coming up you can also hit tab in game and it'll show you when the dragon's spawning so we're going to go ahead and kill the Scuttle for Dragon Control here. Getting Scuttle when Dragon is up is super important because it gives your team vision in the area of the Dragon and it gives you movement speed during the fight if you choose to fight during Dragon if you run through the circle. It's always good to get the Scuttle. You should always try to do that. Um, our jungler isn't at the Dragon, so we have to be careful. I'm just clearing vision right now on their team. We see that their jungler is trying to come in to try to smite the dragon, try to get it, try to steal it. He goes in a little bit too far, and I'm able to just clean up here because I, I am really fed, and I do 
I do AOE damage. So I'm able to pick up four kills there. Wipe their team. I think I get the Penta here, actually. I mean, I love this. I'm actually pretty garbage I review my VODs. It's, uh... I've, I've only been playing this game for like three months. So I'm still new to it. So right here, I'm going to pick up the Penta. And at this point, they're just going to FF because we have two dragons on them, four kills on them, a 5k gold lead. I'm really fed. I'm at 14, 1, and 4. Our jungler's doing really good. So at this point, they don't want to deal with me anymore because I just wiped their team basically single-handedly.